Hey there, loves. I've made more progress in my entryway. If you guys are new here, I'm doing a series on how I'm revamping our entire house and the entryway is definitely one of them. If you have not seen any of the previous videos, we have already revamped and upcycled our shoe closet, which also serves as our entryway table. We've also upcycled the bookcase, which is also a china closet. And we are doing so much more today we're going to be tackling this awkwardly shaped wall inside my entryway i have no idea what i wanted to do with it for a long long time so i decided to go ahead and use this piece of art that we bought from kicks if you guys remember that video that happened a while back we bought this art from kicks for 15 euros and 99 cents before we get started, these are a few of the items that I'm going to be using. This is called an acrylic pour, also known as a medium. And what that does is it just loosens up the paint so that it'll be able to flow more fluid-like. These are a few of the acrylic paints that I use. I'm not set on a particular brand as yet because I'm still trying out brands to find out which ones that I like more. Now you don't have to use a medium, which is also known as an acrylic pour. You don't have to use that if you do um, want to just start with acrylic paints. Definitely just start with water and a little bit of dish liquid. That's definitely what I started with and I've been doing this for about a year now. How I measure my acrylic mixtures, I add one part paint to two parts pouring fluid, also known as your medium. And you want to make sure that you are mixing this very well because if you don't, it will get or be clumpy and you do not want that. It will be a hot mess. It will ruin your artwork and you will just be pissed because you have to start all over again. <laughs> but I'm just going to keep on mixing up my colors until I'm satisfied and then we're going to start prepping this portrait for painting. So instead of using the painter's tape to just tape down the frame, which would have been easy, I decided to go ahead and remove the frame from the canvas just to make my work a lot easier because I did not want to destroy this frame because I wanted to use this after I was done with my paint. So I just took my thumb and pressed carefully to remove the tacks or the little nails that held the frame to the canvas. To also avoid a lot of paint buildup on the back of the canvas, I went ahead and used my painter's tape just to secure the bottom of the canvas so I wouldn't have to deal with that hot mess afterwards. You can also go ahead and use some extended thumb thacks to raise your canvas instead so it doesn't lay flat onto your painting surface, but I didn't have any so I opt for the painter's tape instead. To start with a clean canvas, I'm going to take my white paint mixture and pour that over it. And I'm just going to use my hands. You can use a paintbrush or whatever you have and just spread that all over it. It doesn't have to be neat. We're just trying to cover up the existing art. You can use as little or as many colors as you like. I decided to go ahead with five colors, but you can definitely use much less. Now this is not medium. This is actually my white paint mixture in an old medium jar. So I just started with my white. Then I'm going to be adding some gray, 
no particular order no particular design this is just how i decided to add it then i'm going to add this brown now this brown was a lot lighter so i took some of my gray and added it to the brown until i got the color that i wanted and this blue if you remember it in the earlier clip it was also much lighter as well and i just added that gray into it to darken it until i got the blue that i desired use whatever colors you want i wanted to go ahead and give the room a pop of color because my room is basically all black and white now if you remembered earlier we had a yellow paint i went ahead and added some of my brown to give that almost mustard or kind of bronzy gold color so that's what that is it's two colors mixed together yellow and brown that gives that mustardy gold and then i'm just going to go ahead and layer the paint again no particular order i'm just going with the flow and just pouring it where i feel that i will get the design that i desire To help my art flow a little better, I'm just going to go around the perimeter with some more of that white paint. And then we're going to start by layering that white paint over our colors. And then we're going to disperse the colors or spread the colors out using our hair dryer. If you guys have the correct tools, then that's even better. But I'm a beginner. So I had my hair dryer, so that's what I'm working with in this video. It definitely works. So I'm just going to start off by adding the white over the colors, and then we're going to go ahead and disperse the colors all over the canvas. Remember that art is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a way of relaxing and escaping. So if you do not have the art look that you desire, don't feel that you can't go in and change it. Add more colors or different colors. If you feel free, do what you want. It's supposed to be fun. So I'm just going to add a little bit more paint in different areas so that I get that design that I desire. Now, like I said before, have fun with it. It's supposed to be fun. Don't take your artwork seriously. Enjoy the process and trust the process.
And now here's the fun part, just watching the art flow. I enjoy this so much, I don't know why, but it is just so satisfying to me. When you're done with your art, you definitely want to leave it and let it dry for three to five days. I always leave mine for five days because you do not want the paint to still be wet and still moving or shifting. Definitely give it some time to cure and after it's cured, then you can go ahead and hang it up wherever you desire. This is the end of the video. We are definitely not done with the entryway. We still have a little more work to do. And then we're going to come back and give the complete tour of the entryway and show the before and after. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give your girl a big thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all those beautiful things. And I will see y'all in the next video so until then choose